Hey guys, welcome back. Tracy here with the House of Chuckles and my daily mask review. And today I have got for you the witch. Uh, this witch was used in, well I should say it's a replica of one that was used in Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Uh, this one here is from Trick or Treat Studios. And Trick or Treat Studios did put out three uh, for Season of the Witch, three different masks that were used uh, well, they're replicas from, from masks that were used in that film. You have the witch, and the pumpkin, and the skull. And in Season of the Witch, there was no Michael Myers. If, if you're a big fan of Halloween, you already know that. I'm going to go over a little bit of uh, background history of this particular mask. Uh, first of all, Don Post Studios put out one that was called Hagatha in 1981. Now I have got my Morris catalog from 1984 and unfortunately I don't have a color copy of Hagatha but there is the black and white picture of Hagatha from Dom Post Studios and it was put out in 1981. Now Dom Post Studios after the film Season of the Witch which came out in 1982 Dom Post Studios put out one that was called The Witch in 2012 and then Dom Post Studios actually uh, closed up in 2012 so it was one of their last ones that they did and it's my understanding that Trick or Street Trick, uh, excuse me Trick or Treat Studios bought the rights to the witch redid this one and I believe this came out in 2015 so it's a long little history on it um, a little bit about the mask it's got the nice crush velvety uh, hood that Don Post Studios used to uh, put on a lot of their masks and it's also got the silver shamrock power chip power chip now if you're familiar with the movie uh, the kids they put these masks on they'd watch a commercial on I believe it was Halloween and the power chip would be activated and it would make weird things happen bugs and worms and snakes and whatnot uh, come out the mask would suck up into their face and I'll show you a picture of somewhat of what happened um, anyhow well that is about the history I know that was kinda of long of this particular mask they are half masks with straps to help hold them on your head and then they wrap around and like Don Post Studios had it's got a little velcro uh, button there that you can wrap around your neck and then if you're wearing a cloak or something of that nature you know you got a costume real quick anyhow let's go ahead and I will throw this on real quick and let you know how it fits. I'm sure it fits fine because it's a half mask, but uh, let's do it anyways. And there you go, the witch. Just don't watch the commercial. <laughs> Now something else that uh, a lot of other people when they do these reviews haven't been mentioning is Hagatha here glows under a black light so she's UV and uh, let me turn the lights out and I'll show you what uh, she looks like under a black light be right back all right and there is Hagatha under a black light I'm sorry the witch Hagatha was the original name. Now, uh, also you can see there in the background, the pumpkin also glows under a black light, but the uh, the skull does not. So, 
anyhow guys there it is great mask if you're into the collecting of the uh, season of the witch if you want to pick up the three they're very iconic well at least this one and the skull the pumpkin was actually I believe was done just for the movie but still they're very cool you know it makes a cool little collection of the three season of the witch and uh, I'll go ahead and I will put this on the carousel. I'll let it go around once without a black light, and then I'll let it go around uh, with the black light. So this is going to be a little bit longer video than normal. Anyhow, guys, have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.